A rescue party. Franz von Sturm, chief scientific officer of the first Borgovian void expedition, reporting for duty. Our airship crashed here a decade ago. So, you're right on time. Bad news then. Formigati is dead. We are not your rescue party. And you must explain what is happening here. Efficient and practical. I like that. There is a dark presence in the void, which is trying to use the reality-shaping abilities of the ink for its own nefarious purposes. I know. Borgovia is changing back to the way it used to be. Excellent. I mean, it's horrible, but it fits my theory, which I base purely on scientific observation since the Faceless One began using our clockwork key. I suspected that he's rewriting the world. What are you talking about? We built four ethereal transmitters in these provinces to send signals home. They didn't work. The locals call them ink grubs, which is annoying. Anyway, the faceless ones use them to amplify the power of the ink. Think of magnifying lenses and sunlight. If I destroy the ink grubs, will it revert the changes? Of course not. But you will prevent Borgovia from changing further back to its old form, or falling apart entirely. We have one... Ink grub here, so you can start with that. I'll be in touch. <gasps> oh, too late. Oh, Stone. The search party was ambushed and massacred. I'm dying. He is delirious. His soul's going to depart any second now. Swear, what Stone. Swear that you will look for the others and save them. I'm not Von Storm, but I swear to save your friends. This one has been dead for a while. Nothing useful here. Just his crumpled notebook. Look at this entry. It says, Bittersweet anniversary. Five years after the crash landing of the ink ship. We spent our time wisely. Exploration, scientific grudges among the expedition members. Building the transmitters to reach Borgovia. No success so far. Your Chimera has returned from a successful hunt. Hmm. Someone removed his guts through the nose and mouth. He left behind a stack of bloodstained notes. Anything interesting? Maybe this one. Study in progress. Experimenting with the crystallized dream material of the ink that the natives call rust. The prototypes we built could channel the flow of the ink in close proximity to shape the other world. Von Storm is highly optimistic. We have lost other four scientists this week. Angus, the young, always took the higher road to hell. <laughs> See these blades? What should I chop off first? Your tiny feet? Or one of those twigs you call arms. <sighs> Please, don't kill me. I have already killed your friends and feasted on their livers. Why should I stop now? But you're supposed to be a herbivore. Do you think I eat plants with all these pointy teeth? Hold it right there. Let him go and fight me instead. <laughs> One wrong move, puny human, and I'll take his head off. <sighs> then I take yours a heartbeat later, creature. For the sake of the periodic table, save me! Hmm, seems like we have a standoff here. Want to play a game? I ask three tricky questions, <sighs> and if you give me the right answers, I let him go. And I will let you go. Deal.
question. <laughs> what is the color of a scrim beast? Black. Hmm. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll let your friend go. In pieces. <laughs> Caucasian or Borgovian swallow. Here comes the third. Uh, what makes human flesh taste better? Apples or hunger? Apples. I think I need to change my pants. I managed to activate my aerial transmitter prototype. Can't reach Borgovia, but I can talk to you. One fatal blow to the head. A quick death. He was grasping a handful of sheets. Can you make these lines out? It says... The construction of the Clockwork Keep has been finished. The first wonder of the other world. A fortress of science. Soon it will sustain itself like a perpetual motion machine by creating ink storms. The effects can't reach Borgovia yet. That would require a power source yet unknown to science. No survivors. Everybody is dead. Someone. Wanted to eliminate everyone from that clockwork keep. We have to pass on the information we gathered to Von Storm later. Hiding treasure in a wheat field. A smart move, but not smart enough. Judging by the freezing cold, this must be the Valley of Frost. Astonishing observation. I'm Misha, the last sentry alive at the Ink Gate. Actually, we were waiting for the scientists to return. But at least you're not monsters. Have you seen a giant sphere we call the Ink Grub? That accursed thing which has brought permanent winter upon us, destroyed our lands and turned the amphibians into evil creatures. It rings a bell, yes. Just point me in the right direction, and I'll make it go away. This island is already dead. You can find the Ink Grub on the far side of the riverbed. Are the scientists coming? They needed us in the mines. Don't get your hopes up. Good luck then, sir. Hey, traveler. Our families are starving. I wonder why this feels like deja vu. What are you mumbling there, son? We ran out of food two days ago. And the volunteers we sent to the storehouse never returned. For a starving man in need, you are really insolent. Why should I help you? Maybe because I have a vital piece of information about what you seek. Bring us some food supplies. You help me, I help you. I will get your supplies, but if you try to trick me... Isn't that a sausage in your hand? Oh, this is just the emergency rations. It only makes me hungrier. Winter is coming. Or is it already here? I'm so confused. 
We found another abandoned laboratory and ran into trouble. The captains wish to discuss the situation with you. Allow me to show them my revenge. The rubble blocked the bridge. We need something to get us to the other side. Like explosives? That is actually a good idea. The sentry was talking about a mining operation, if I'm not mistaken. of it. A huge fire raged here recently. The gnomes must have seen this from the village. So, the tricky little guy fooled me. There is no vital information, I guess. Grab what we can, and return immediately. twisted sense of humor. The gnomes who wanted to be fed are now getting eaten by monsters. They sent us a way to fetch food, only to become food themselves. <laughs> How philosophical. Care to join them as dessert? <laughs> this dessert will be your last. Another human to ruin us. I have everything you might need. Fish skin coats, beard grease, shovels, wooden sandals, explosives. Let me handle this. We need explosives to get over the bridge, you nice little gnome. An untouched set of explosives, stolen by yours truly, for a kiss. Take it or leave it. Oh, step closer, my brave little friend. Eek! You can have the package for free. I must admit, that was a neat trick. Let's blow this rubble sky high.
can't use that. who can shape the ink by sheer force of will until they go mad and kill themselves? Indeed. I dream things into existence. Like this island, or some of the creatures you were fighting. You didn't waste your time then. What do you want from me? The more things I dreamt to life, the more deformities I had to bear. Then my creation started to turn evil. Now, I can barely control the dreams, and it fills me with horror. Are you looking for an executioner? I just want to help. Before I lose my sanity, I need rust fragments to fuel my dreams. Collect some and I will use it to forge a powerful artifact against your nemesis. I know I shouldn't trust you, but it's worth a try. What is this strange equipment? I don't know. But it looks like something from a very grim future. Cabin in the woods for rent. Perfect holiday retreat for university students and blonde girls. Cellar is currently under renovation. Sanity. Are you ready? You mean ready to destroy you if you even think about making a wrong move? Yes. There is something that you must know. The artifact I'll craft for you will lose all its powers if you leave the ink. Even once. I will keep that in mind. Please tell Von Stern that I'm sorry for causing so much death and suffering. Creating the item devoured all his strength and killed him. I didn't expect that. I'm sure he was aware of the consequences. Let's keep our fingers crossed that the artifacts will not work against us.
just when I thought that these Inkrabs couldn't be more annoying, here is another one, protected by a force field. It's rather inconvenient. It means that first we must take out the Shield Masters. Can you be a bit more obscure, please? It is something I picked up from the Resistance scientists. This magical barrier is feeding on the life force of its creators, the Shield Masters. We kill them, the shield goes down. Simple. Well, let's make a killing then. Your Chimera has returned from a successful hunt. Tell me, Van Helsing, who is the fairest of them all? Well, the Dreamer did warn us. The artifact he gave me is powerless now. Extremely rare dreamer artifact in your possession. Would you like to swap it for something more useful? Yes, please. I'm busy. Busy! Careful, little gnome. You might want to jump at us like your little friends around here, but I must warn you that it wasn't their brightest idea. I don't want to fight you. I'm hiding away from the others. They're all mad. I'm just a sentry keeping an eye on the Empyrean perimeter. And what would that be? See those floating islands in the distance? A chain of strongholds built by a lost civilization. It must have been defending the world from something dangerous from the ink. And what's inside? Our mad but very nice scientist friends found barren halls filled with occult machines and magic traps. They rebuilt everything they could, obviously. The darkness has returned to the ink. We might need those forts sooner than you'd think. We should send out resistance soldiers to man the forts. Yet the palace was destroyed centuries ago. Well, you are staring at an Atlantean soul shelter, which is nearly indestructible. <gasps> Oops! I almost jumped. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Wraith. Is that crude flesh vessel your servant? This crude flesh vessel will blast you into pieces if you don't introduce yourself. Before I placed my soul in the shelter, I was the court mage of the 47th Atlantean Emperor. It was the only way to survive the Cataclysm. So this place is indeed the fabled Atlantis. Anything else I should know? My shelter must be recharged, so I can survive a few more centuries. Why don't you just find a new host? My imprisonment is final. Ask your vassal to acquire a soul scepter, then use it to lure souls out of the spirit dome. Harvest plenty, so their trapped essence can replenish this shelter. <laughs> Have you heard him, my dearest vassal? Your story is too intriguing to pass. I will help. He called me Lady Wraith. Finally, I have my own nickname. The Soul Scepter is hidden there. I can feel it. And it won't come with us without a fight.
Spirit Dome, an arcane gathering place for restless souls. Atlanteans surely didn't let anything go to waste. Time to lure them out. Just don't get too close to the Scepter. Excellent. The Soul Shelter is now fully recharged. I'm safe for a few more centuries. Can we do something to set you free? Could such a barbaric, monster-hunting brute such as you reinvent Atlantean high magic? Time to leave this stuck-up painting, Katarina. Alas, I have unlocked a hidden compartment for your services. Farewell, Lady Rain. Great work with the transmitters. And here comes the fun part. The faceless Tsar replaced our power source with his own Category A Arcane Life Force container, which is powerful enough to generate a reality-shaping tide that will reach Borgovia. Are you telling me that this clacking nightmare is powered by Koshai's death? What a simple name for such a great artifact. But yes, into the clockwork keep and power up the Dreamweaver by flipping on two power relays. Our scientist will control the weaver remotely, and by using the material of creation, they'll build a disintegrating device. It can destroy the relic. I'll talk you through it. Good, because I didn't understand the half of that, did you? No. Let's go. Van Helsing, we need to discuss an important matter. Return to the lair as soon as you can. You know what bothers me the most? Those huge gears turning. It makes my head spin. That shouldn't be too hard, considering the condition of your head. But a bad joke. Try harder, Van Helsing. All right. This unholy clanking is indeed unsettling. Remember the otherworldly fortifications you've discovered recently? We sent soldiers to explore it. Did they find anything worthwhile? Quite a few things. Most importantly, we confirm that the purpose of the fortifications is to stop otherworldly invasions. That should come handy against the faceless Tsar. We need to secure it. That's the reason why I asked for you. An ink rift is forming near the fortifications, and we need to send in forces. I shall send one of our elite teams then. Remember the otherworldly fortifications you've discovered recently? We sent soldiers to explore it. Did they find anything worthwhile? Quite a few things. Most importantly, we confirm that the purpose of the fortifications is to stop otherworldly invasions. That should come handy against the faceless Tsar. We need to secure it. That's the reason why I asked for you. An ink rift is forming near the fortifications, and we need to send in forces. Right. I can handle that.
I sense a disturbance in the ink. A gate has opened around here. I'm eager to find out how things went at the Empyrean perimeter. I've repelled the invaders. You can start sending out troops to reinforce the fortifications where necessary. My dear fellow, you scared me. Now I've lost count of... Hmm. I don't remember what I was counting exactly. What are you doing here? I'm the senior clockmeister. Some gears require adjusting. Otherwise, one of the other clock towers will go out of alignment. Because of the relic, see? It could lead to another catastrophic anomaly. So you actually know how this thing works. Unlike me. Indeed. I tried to count the exact number of cogs on this wheel, but I'm too exhausted. If you help me out, I'll show you a neat trick. Interested? All right. I'll count the cogs on the wheel for you. Just joking. Uh, so, what is the correct number, please? That is the correct number, obviously. Why are you still here? I want my reward now, please. Tell me the trick. The what? Oh, yes, of course. Set gear ratio to 1 to 324 at control station 542, so the reality-changing energies will dissipate faster when you destroy the relic which will result in a lot less death and destruction in Borgovia. I'll try not to forget these numbers and ratios. Thank you. The sign says, Discarded TARDIS console. Do not touch. What is a TARDIS? I have no idea. The scientists must have used all kinds of mechanical parts floating in the other world of dreams. Could be anything. Urgent message. Can you take a slight detour to the improbability flux generator and turn it back on? It was our defense against the monsters of the ink, but it was disabled when the Tsar conquered the keep. Retrieve the master engineer key, get close to the generator, and all will take care of itself automatically. And there? Blasted scientists. Von Storm said that everything would take care itself. Obviously it didn't. The improbability flux, whatever it is, has different settings for keeping monsters at bay. It's all gibberish. Now you silly, just pick one. I'll try Dissonantial Molecular Retrofusion. Outstanding! The Improbability Flux Generator is operational. Thank you, and carry on. Excellent. Now get to the eastern section of the keep and power up the Dreamweaver with the control panel.
Outstanding. Now, go to the northern end of the keep and destroy the relic with the disintegrator. seems indestructible. That's the whole point of it, right? Let me figure out how to use that disintegrator. Just point and shoot! The clockwork keep is under our control again. The rewriting process of Borgovia has been terminated. What a victory for the history books, despite all the improbabilities. I still have to track down the mastermind who wanted to turn back time at home. The good thing is you still have a chance against the faceless Tsar. He's just lost Koshi's death, right? But only an ancient gatekeeper can grant you a passage to the deep realms where he is hiding. I will open a gate to his domain for you, right away. Not a frozen world again, please. Thank <laughs> you. 